with Next Global News, and today we're going to talk about rare earth minerals. A lot of you guys uh, may have heard of rare earth, uh, but this video we're going to dive in and talk about how important they are, how they're not really that rare, but why China monopolizes the market and why that's a big deal. And so let's go ahead and talk about rare earth elements. If you're new to this channel, you can subscribe. And also thanks to everyone who's been crushing up the likes. So what are rare earth minerals? As per geology.com, rare earth elements are a group of 17 chemical elements that occur together in the periodic table. You can see them right here. So anytime you look at the periodic table, you can find out what the most atomic uh, uh, element is on earth. And then you'll look down at the bottom and you'll see there's uranium and plutonium. And then that's how you get the uh, uranium or the uh, atomic bomb, right? Nuclear bombs. Because of this periodic table, it tells you what's the most uh, atomic matter and things you need to know. But these rare, rare earth elements are right here. And they actually, uh, you know, you, you probably haven't heard of them, but you use them. The group consists of, they're hard to say, uranium and 15 lanthanide elements, lanathium, cerium, prasadium, neodium, promethium, samarium, europium, gadolinium, terbium, dysperium, holmium. I'm not even going to say them all. They're all hard. You guys can get, you guys get the idea though. Okay. So scandium or scandium is found in the, in most rare earth element deposits and is sometimes classified as a rare earth element. The international union of pure and applied chemistry includes scandium or scandium in their rare earth element definition. So um, the rare earth elements are all metals and the group is often referred to as rare earth elements. So just to show you who dominates the top 10 uh, countries in the world for rare earth metal production, you can see here's China at 120,000 MT, right? So that's metric tons. Now the next closest uh, country on that list is Australia at 20,000. So you can see that China produces uh, quite a bit. They produce seven times more metric tons than Australia and United States at 15,000 metric tons. So you can see even with Australia and the United States combined, China still outproduces them by a long shot. So this is, this is a big deal because China is saying, hey, look, the rest of the world, we're not going to sell these raw materials anymore. Uh, but they're, what they say China is basically doing is instead of uh, selling raw materials, they're actually using the raw materials to produce the high value, tick, the high dollar ticket items, right? So um, as you can see, uh, the, the geopolitical uh, considerations, China has officially cited resource depletion and environmental concerns as the reason for a nationwide crackdown on its rare earth mineral production sector. However, non-environmental motives have also been inputted to China's rare earth policy. According to The Economist, slashing their exports of rare earth metals is all about moving Chinese manufacturers up the supply chain. So this is a big deal and it's affecting um, you know, the global economy because of it, because of the usage of rare earth uh, in, in a variety of different uh, things. So visualizing the importance of rare earth elements to our digital economy or digital lifestyle, you can see many of these uh, products that you use in your every daily, daily life, uh, mobile computing and entertainment, clean technologies, defense, advanced communications, health, all have an, uh, some sort of connection with rare earth. Now, if you wanted to see uh, some more information about rare earth. Where else we can get some rare earth minerals? Well, you'll see right here, Japan. They found a rare earth metals deposit, but it's way down in the middle of the ocean. You can see right here, way down there, just north of the Marianas Trench. Kind of hard to get to, right? So uh, there's a lot of rare earth minerals down there, but they're hard to get to. Uh, here's another one, rare earth Afghanistan sits on one trillion dollars in minerals. A lot of you guys are wondering, well, maybe that's why we're over in Afghanistan. I see it's starting to make sense. Well, <laughs> Afghanistan, a country nearly the size of Texas, is loaded with mineral deposits by the violent collision of the Indian subcontinent with Asia. The U.S. Geological S Survey began inspecting what mineral resources Afghanistan had 
after U.S.-led forces drove the Taliban from power in the country in 2004. In 2006, U.S. researchers flew airborne missions to conduct magnetic gravity and hyperspectral surveys over Afghanistan. So Afghanistan has a lot of minerals and deposits of metals that the world would want. And someone says they have a lot of lithium, which you could almost say is a rare earth, but it's not. It's rare. It's it, lithium mines. I mean, those are expensive. They cost cost a lot of money if you can uh, get your hands on it. This guy here, Tim Warstall with Forbes, says, "Dear President Trump, Afghanistan's minerals aren't as, aren't very valuable. They're really not. Interesting read if you want to see if uh, Afghanistan's worth uh, the hassle to get to those. You know, going through the Taliban and the." Uh, uh, insurgency that you have to get through to get to it so here's rare earth reserves worldwide as of 2019 by country you can see uh china still has the the big uh monopoly on it but followed by brazil vietnam russia india australia greenland and the united states surprisingly the united states even with alaska doesn't really have uh, a large uh deposit of rare earth minerals but there is a place in california um on the border of uh, Arizona, California, and Nevada, around that area, called Mountain Pass Deposit, is is in a 1.4 billion year pre Precambrian carbonite intruded into Genesis. It, oh my gosh, they, they, that's a tongue twister, isn't it? Um, it contains 8% to 12% rare earth oxides, mostly contained in mineral uh, bastonite. So. If you guys uh, want to go check out, learn up about the main rare earth deposit or mine, it's over there in uh, kind of close to Death Valley. That's basically the way, the best way I could say it. But it's not very easy to get to. Um, it's by Mountain Pass, California. The mine once supplied most of the world's rare earth elements. So it's, you know, it's been in the game before. There's also uh, some of these rare earth mines can really be uh, eyesores. They're not very pretty. Some of you guys might already know of the Cola Super Deep Borehole. Um, let's just see here. Yeah, you can see. You guys know this hole. This is in the Soviet Union. <coughs> oh, man. It's a, it's a big hole in the ground. Uh, they're eyesores, I'll tell you what, to get to these rare earth minerals. I've seen plenty of these mines. But um, I just wanted to point this out to you guys about rare earth minerals. A lot of you guys probably already know about it. Some of you guys are just now tuning into it. But you can see China controls the monopoly on it by a long shot. And it's a really important industry to hold. And right now, China being number one, uh, Brazil also being number two. Um, you know, the United States is not really a big player in rare earth minerals. But we consume a lot for our everyday technologies. So... Anyways, guys, thanks for crushing out the likes and subscribing to this channel, and we'll see you on the next video.